How we doing everybody? Started working on my Dana 44 yesterday for the axle swap project in my pickup. Got it all inspected and now see what I'm going to have to get for parts. We are going to be doing all the U-joints. This U-joint here on the passenger side axle shaft is no good. It's seized. No big deal for replacing that. We're going to be replacing all the ball joints. The passenger side ball joints are the originals. They got 139,000, 140,000 miles on them. Good idea to replace them. Now, the driver side ball joints are no good. They are loose. This side was also in a fire when the truck caught fire from the cruise control cancel switch on the master cylinder catching fire. So they were probably under a lot of heat. Good idea to replace them. Now they have been done before. Not sure how well you can see that but in the middle of the frame is a grease fitting. So somebody has done the driver side ball joints at some point. Who knows when? I don't know how many miles they have on them. The Moog ball joints from Rock Auto are fairly inexpensive. I think it's going to be around 100 bucks for all four ball joints. That's not bad. And my dad's mechanic is going to be giving me a hand putting them in. He's got a ball joint press. So no big deal with that. We are going to be doing the all the U-joints. Like I said, the passenger side axle shaft U-joint is no good. It's frozen. But while we have it apart, we are going to replace the driver side axle shaft U-joint. As well as the center joint U-joint. Might as well do them. Don't know how many miles they have on them. And from Rock Auto, they're like five bucks a piece. So you might as well get them. I did confirm that this is a 355 ratio. Made a mark on the input shaft. Made a mark on one of the axle shafts. Spun the input shaft three, about three and a half times for one time that the axle shaft does spin. That's awesome. We're also going to be replacing the axle pivot bushings. Good time to replace them. The axle's out of the truck. I've already got polyurethane ones to go in place of these rubber ones. Polyurethane, they're a little bit better performance anyways. We're also going to be removing these mangled brake shields on both sides. Going to be replacing the rotors. Again, they were in the fire, so they're probably warped. And while we're replacing the rotors, we're going to be repacking the wheel bearings, replacing the hub seals. We're also going to be removing these automatic locking hubs, which never really worked that well, even when they were brand new. As you saw in my last video, I've already got the worn premium hubs to install. So, that'll be good. I also got the spindle nut kit, as these have got the three screw hubs, and you need to change out the spindle nuts. I got the oil drain overnight. It actually didn't look that bad. There was no water in it. So we're just going to be refilling that when we're all done refurbishing the axle. And the only other piece that needs to be done is the driver side radius arm. You can see that this, the end where it goes into the bushing is all worn out. Whereas on the passenger side, it's all nice. So 
like I said, we're going to be doing the ball joints, the U joints, the driver's side radius arm, replacing the rotors, removing those mangled dust shields, brake shields, repacking the bearings, new hub seals, uh, manual locking hubs. Now we are probably going to have a little less than 500 bucks into the front axle. However, that's going to give me peace of mind knowing that everything has been done so that I don't have to do it down the road. See you guys hopefully in the next video. We're going to be starting to pull the hubs and everything off so that we can start doing the U-joints, ball joints, all that good fun stuff. So thanks for watching guys. Bye.